been married for over 40 years now. Would you like a cup of tea? I lived up at Clacton back then. I lived at Stamford Hill. Alan lived up at Stamford Hill when we first met. We met through your friend Malcolm. Remember Malcolm? Malcolm Ritter? Yes, I remember Malcolm. Malcolm Ritter. I haven't seen Malcolm in years. We used to go dancing back then. Every Sunday. Tottenham Raw, do you remember? Every Sunday we went. Do you remember Tottenham Raw? Of course I remember. Tottenham Royal, every Sunday. Every Sunday. Marilyn and Danny. Cyril and Daphne. Stanley, Stanley and, and Joyce. <laughs> Good days. Good times. Afterwards, we'd all meet up at the e and Salt Beef Bar on Stamford Hill. The e and The e and Salt Beef Bar on Stamford Hill. Do you remember? Do I? Of course I remember. It's all changed now. It's all changed now. Mustard and pickle. You wouldn't recognise it now. You remember mustard and pickle? Been gone for years now. Can I get you a cup of tea? Perhaps a cold drink? I used to love salt beef. I still do, with the fat left on. The e and salt beef bar. It's all gone now. It's all changed now. Times have changed. You wouldn't recognise it now. Not always for the better. All people think about today is money. Because you've got to have money today. It's a lot simpler back then. You forget times were hard. We met when we were about 17. <laughs> Married at Egerton Road Synagogue. Rabbi Bloom. Rabbi Bloom. You must have been about 80 then. He taught me my bar mitzvah. We lived with my mum and dad back then. Rest in peace over Shalom. Rest in peace. Barry was my firstborn. He was nearly eight pound. He was nearly eight pound. Well, I'm talking to the devil. Barry was my firstborn. He was nearly eight pound. Bruce followed a year later. Couldn't afford our own place in them days. We couldn't afford kids. We had them two. I haven't heard that one today. We lived at Homely Road in them days with your mum and dad. God rest their souls. I will show them. Eight pound. Such a big baby. <laughs> Barry always was a big baby. <laughs> Leave it out, Dad. Young people today, they're obsessed with money. Obsessed? You need money today. You can say that again. Oh, yeah, you've got holes in your pockets, you have. Leave them alone. Things were simpler back then. Young people today, they... Entitlement. They expect the world. Entitlement? We may do. We live with your mum and dad, do you remember? Of course I do. How can I forget? I'm a brother Michael, over Shalom. Rest in peace. He was lovely, my brother Michael. You'd have liked my brother Michael, he was good natured. He would have given you his last. Everyone liked my brother Michael. Uncle Michael. I remember him. Just. Wasn't that keen on you at first? Who? My father, over Shalom. Rest in peace. All pieces. Hello! He always wanted me to do that taxi knowledge. Your friend, what's his name, did it? Who? No. You no. Know, what's his name? What's his name? I don't know. What's his name, Mum? <laughs> she never knows anyone's name. We was born at the Jewish nursing home, weren't we, Mum? Lordship Park Road. I was born first, he was eight pound. And ten shillings. You always used to say that joke, didn't you, Mum? Do you remember, Mum? Do you remember that joke? Of course I do. Of course I remember. Do you remember, Alan?
I was working up at Hillman's at that time. I used to get the bus, do you remember, Rosh? Yeah, I remember. You used to get the bus, Alan. Do you remember? Of course I remember. I was the one getting the bloody bus. Six by three, wasn't it? Two five three. I thought it was a 653. No, 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 no. It was a 253. You must remember. I can't honestly say I do. It's a 243 now, I think. My bins. Couldn't find my gloves. Back in a sec. They're in your jacket. It's been 10 years now. I know. I know you know, I'm just saying. What day goes past, I don't think of our Bruce. Barry thinks of him all the time. He would. He talks to him every day. I know. Elvis. Elvis? What's Elvis got to do with it? He used to talk to the wall. To his twin. You've lost me. My late father, rest in peace. I have a show them. He would get the bus up to Waltonstone. Tottenham Hale. Waltonstone. Must have been the 91. I don't think it was. The 91 goes to Tottenham Hale. Yeah, but he would get the bus up to Waltonstone. Tottenham Hale, Tottenham Hale. The 91 goes to Tottenham Hale. 55 goes to Walthamstow. The 91, it went right past the estate. You could see it from the kitchen window. See what from the kitchen window? Park estate. It was lovely back then. Loved the estate. I loved living there. It was lovely. It was clean. Brand new. All brand new. Do you remember, Alan? Of course I remember. Yeah, I remember. How can you remember? He was about two. No, I mean, I remember a little bit. Moving in, I remember. We just moved in. The boys were little then. How long had we... Must have been 30 years. Just shy of 30 Nearly years. Nearly 30 years. Just shy of 30 years. It's a funny word. What is? Shy. Just shy. Funny word, just shy. All go so quick, like it was yesterday. Yeah, like it was yesterday. You were still at Hillman's when we first moved in. I was still at Hillman's, at Furrier's, in Shoreditch when we first moved in. You liked it there? I liked it there, Mr Hillman. Remember him? He was a character. Mm, of course I remember him. I mean, they come. He was a spieler, big spieler, a gambler. I mean, his wife and his family, if you uh, ask me. Uh, that was just a rumour. Rumour? No smoke. Gambled every penny. Cost him his business in the end. Do you remember? Of course I remember. Hope you're listening, Barry. They were good boys. Close brothers. Yeah, like brothers should be. Not always. No, not always. He could be a right so-and-so. They weren't angels. They <laughs> weren't angels. Not by any stretch. Football mad. Football mad. And with the other kids from the flats, remember? Jeremy and Paul Arlo, David Raymond. David Raymond. <laughs> David Raymond. Whatever happened to David Raymond? 
I always had a cold that one. I always had a runny nose. He was always very clever. Yeah, yeah, but that was later, Mum. Yeah. I think he became an accountant or something like that. Poor Hullo got a trial at Spurs. Then he was on trial at Crown Court. <laughs> that was later, much later, Mum. I'd already left the ones by then, I think. Do you know, I always get a bit, a bit confused. You get a bit confused, the old man. Thanks, Mr. Cleverclogs Barry there. Spent half his life up the docks, your father. God rest his soul. Yeah, and the other half losing at cards. Yeah, well, they did back then, didn't they? The family. Play a lot of cards, hours on end. Arguing, spieling. Do you remember Andrew Agar? Egg bomb. Egg bomb? Egg bomb. Eggy. <laughs> no, Mum, that wasn't his real name. Well, shall I hope not. What sort of name is Egg Beg? Egg bomb. Egg bomb. Egg for breakfast, eggs for dinner. Eggy! Uh, e for being Georgie Best. Like the advert on the telly years ago. You must remember that. No, I don't remember that. We never knew where they were half the time. Living on the estate. Six floors up, you never knew. So they were good boys. Little angels. You could lose contact with them living six floors up. Out of sight. Kids change when they go to school. I love Park Royal School. Can't keep looking out the window. Not when you're six floors up. I like living on the estate. It was nice back then. Bedroom, two bedroom, separate kitchen, front room. Separate bathroom. Separate bathroom. We lived there for years at Downs House. Just shy of 30 years. <laughs> it was all families back then. Not now. No, not now. You wouldn't want to live there now. Oh no, not now. Separate bathroom, toilet. Luxury back then. Luxury. Alan always played football with them both. He'd come home from work and take them downstairs. Must have them to see Arsenal their first match, do you remember? Vaguely. Ivory lost 2 1 at home. Bloody Leeds. Bruce became a Spurs fan. Bloody Spurs fan. He would finish at four and take them downstairs for a kick about. Bruce would go in goal. He was good in goal. Sling himself around. Couldn't believe it when he became a bloody Spurs fan. They were a good team back then. They had some good players. His uncle, my brother, would take him to see Spurs. One Saturday he asked me for money for Bruce's ticket. I said, look, I don't mind you taking my son to see Spurs, but I'm not going to pay for it. Bloody schnorrer. I always remember my old man. On the touchline. Every Sunday, Acne Marshes. He used to work on a Sunday. He'd arrive just after kickoff. Take it all for granted, don't you? I know I, I did for years. I remember the first football kits I bought them. One Arsenal, one Tottenham. Bruce was always Jimmy Greaves, Jimmy bloody Greaves. And I was John Radford, or John Samuels. We used to sleep in our kits. Bruce used to sleep in his school uniform. Mum never knew. Of course I knew, I'm your mum. Mums know everything. I remember sewing on the club badges. Shirts are different today. I remember sewing his number on upside down, he went mad. Do you remember? Shirts are different now. Game's different. Everything's different. Things seem so much more simpler. simpler. Remember parents' evening? Teachers always said the same thing. If 
boys spent as much time in their schoolwork as they did on football. They be scholars. They were never scholars. I was a scholar. Yeah, right. At the 2.15 at Newmarket. I hated school. What you said you liked it? I liked the part of you, but I never did no homework. You never had any when I asked. I don't remember you asking. Barry was always in trouble. Bruce was somehow... Teacher's pet. Bruce won the under-11 North London Challenge Cup. Almost single-handed. Single-handed? I played. Oh yes, sorry, Barry played. Bruce scored a hat-trick. I'm so proud of it. I'll never forget it. You forgot I played. Bruce scored a hat-trick. Never got a prize though, on prize day. Not even a mention. Not even a mention. Bloody school. Not even a book. Not even a sports book. Not even a football book. Not even a book on Spurs. Not even a book on Jimmy Bloody Green. <laughs> poor kid. What do you mean, poor kid? He was the best footballer in his school. He could bang him in from anywhere on the field. The right chip off the old block. What do you mean, chip off the old? You couldn't even play football. He took after my father. Overshone. 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 I took him to Orient for a trial. People said he was frail. What frail? Yeah, he was small, yeah, but not frail. He was strong, brave. He didn't mind diving at your feet, neither. He couldn't get the ball off him. You couldn't just push him off it, remember? Yeah, yeah, of course I remember. Barry was always bigger. I was always bigger. Do you remember when I lied about my eyesight? What's that got to do with me? I lied. Do you remember that, Mum? I had this need. This need for glasses. Need for attention, more like. What was it that, that, what was it he belonged to, that group? Who? Barry. G.A. G.A. Gamblers. Yeah. Gamblers Anonymous. <laughs> G.A. A.A. You name it, he's belonged to it. That's not fair, Alan. Not fair? He wants to change, it's a disease. A disease. <laughs> it's a disease, Alan. He's got, he's got Las Vegas on his phone, that one. I'll blame those phones. I've got a phone, I'm not on it all day. He's got a, what do you call it? A compulsion. A what? A compulsion? A compulsion, Alan. It's a disease. I mean, it's GA, then it's AA, then it's... Oh, I'm not helping, Alan. What's the other one? CA. CA. Compulsion. You're too busy working. Compulsions. Too busy working to have compulsions.